In this video, I'll go over the new grid designer for list views available for XAF in our latest release. Let's start a new XAF solution using the project wizard located in the DevExpress XAF category. I'll choose both Windows and Web as target platforms. I'll leave the Entity Framework Code First data model unchanged. On the next screen, enable the standard authentication and click Finish. The wizard creates our new XAF solution. Now I can build the solution and start the model editor in the module project by double clicking the model.designeddiffs.xafml file. My application includes views for users and roles because I enabled the security system in the wizard. Here's the role list view. When I focus the columns child node, the property list to the right is replaced with a design surface that imitates the current views grid filled with sample data. This allows you to look at and customize the grid's default appearance. Let's hide the can edit model property. Now let's group roles by the is administrative property. For this purpose, I'll enable the grouping box and drag the is administrative column header to it. The designer shows the sample data. Now let's see how these settings are applied at runtime in the WinForms application. I'll log in as the administrator. And this is it. The role list view customizations are successfully applied. As you can see, the grid list editor designer looks very similar to the runtime list editor. Since we've made changes in the platform independent module, customizations are also applied to the web application. Let's see how the ASP.NET app looks. Open the role list view. And as you can see, list view customizations are also applied. I made configurations once, and my changes are applied to both WinForms and ASP.NET applications. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.